Hello Collective, this is Rastagal, aka Angelic Empress. Welcome to my channel. Just want to thank all my loyal subscribers that has been a part of my journey from day one. Thank you so much. And I want to also big ups to all the new subscribers that has joined the Rastagal fam. Just want to say Happy New Year's to everybody. We're in 2024. Wow, collective. <laughs> I just keep hearing just um, to myself and just over the airwaves. It's a new day. It's a new life. And each and every day is a fresh start. You know that button that is pushed for you to begin your day as soon as you open your eyes and you're breathing i want to stop right now i want you to take some deep breaths in and out with me at this time breathe in and exhale breathe in and exhale Just know that our deep breaths is life. You know, you're breathing in life, exhaling out whatever from last year, 2023, you wasn't able to accomplish or do whatever you need to leave behind. That's not serving your highest good. You know, uh, we're breathing in and releasing, exhaling out to breathe in new energy and a new mindset, a new way of just moving and being, and especially appreciating. Standing and living in the present moment, looking around, giving thanks and gratitude from where you started to where you are now, even if it was just little steps. It takes one step to continue moving forward and go extra steps further. I want you to give yourself a hug, pat yourself on the back, give yourself a kiss, <laughs> whatever you need to do to appreciate yourself, be more kinder to yourself, patient with yourself, take those deep breaths if you need time out. Mm -hmm. I want you to take a trip with me, Collective. I want to expand your mind, your horizons, your senses, spark your interests. You see that picture there? I want you to take a trip with me to another destination, to another world, to another galaxy. You're standing right there in the middle of the ocean. You see yourself? Okay. Let's go on an adventure. Let's go and explore a whole new world that you can create in your heart space and in your mind. We can create our reality if we believe for our highest good, what you deserve, not just what you need and want, but what you deserve. Mm-hmm. Now see yourself floating. Uh-huh. Wow. Collective. Do you see that? Look at the Milky Way. Look at the galaxy. Beautiful colors. You floating in the air. It's like you're floating in the ocean. In the water. And you're seeing all the planets either above you, surrounding you. 
wow, they're all in alignment. Doesn't that make you feel like your chakras? All in alignment. How do you feel floating in the air? Do you feel lighter? Do you feel more freer and liberated? Isn't that a beautiful feeling? Have you ever felt that way before? Imagine yourself feeling that way now. Collective, as you're floating in the air and you're just feeling so weightless and just limitless beyond your imagination. I want you to continue floating, dreaming, creating your reality. When you see yourself creating your reality in your own universe and world, it's like no other. Trust me, I've seen it myself in another universe. I want you to just go with me into angelic realms. You have an angel here that's guiding you as you reached to your destination. Again, let's use our imagination to create our world. So he's guiding you you're floating or walking. Maybe you're flying in the air. However you imagine yourself in this world to be going and moving forward. But an angel is directing you on your path, on your destination, on your spiritual journey, self-love journey to keep moving forward, no matter what. Don't give up, no matter what it looks like, how it feels, what you're going through. Keep moving forward. Okay, let's go into another realm. Wow, beautiful, beautiful blue light shining where you have to kind of you know, close your eyes a little bit. You can imagine you have glasses, space glasses. Let's put those on so you can see the beautiful, vibrant colors that's ahead, straight ahead that's coming towards you, flying towards you. You hear the wings. You sense and feel all through your body, the air from the vibration of the wings coming towards you. Have you ever been touched by an angel? This is what this angel will do. They will touch you. They will heal you. They will cleanse you. They will awaken your senses into another, a whole new being. Okay? Now that your senses are awakened, you're a whole new person. This touch from this angel didn't just awaken your senses. It cleansed your mind, body. It awakened your soul deep from your core within. You're ascending. You're ascending to a higher frequency, to a higher new realm, to a whole new world with this angel here. Imagine yourself flying along or flying beside or even on as this angel guides you. You see the bright light around the crown and that fire at the feet or of the tail. Man, collective, have you became, oh 
wow. You're definitely ascending. You are a phoenix rising from the ashes. Not everyone can tap into that energy or awaken their senses that way. But you made it. As you arrive back to earth, as this angel, along the side, imagine other angels walking behind you, around you, in front of you, protecting you. Collective, did you earn your wings? Wow. You have ascended. Okay, this message may not resonate for everybody, but if you can feel it and believe it, you will see it. As you walk the earth in your new form, again, other angels will be surrounding you, warrior angels guiding you and fighting for you and around you, protecting you. Mm -hmm. Warrior angels that are here to help you to continue to move forward and ascend on your spiritual journey. And as you ascend, of course, doors open for you and you see the world in a brand new way, higher perspective in a brand new light. Warrior angels, you'll see things in a spiritual realm. The fight that they have to do by any means necessary to protect you because you're one of them. You're one of theirs. You are there their baby, you are their child, you are their son and daughter up in the heavens, here to do a mission, here to proclaim and proceed on your spiritual walk and journey. These warrior angels are coming down to protect you by any means necessary. Mm -hmm. See the armor? Some will come without, some will come with. Some will be males, some will be females. Beautiful. Beautiful armor, beautiful wings. Imagine yourself being one of those people, one of those spirits, one of these angelic beings. Imagine yourself putting on your armor, moving forward with your wings, moving forward in new energy and spirit each and every day to become and be the best you can be. Each and every day you're practicing, each and every day you're working on yourself to do better, to become better, to become stronger in the mind as well as within yourself, within your body, soul, and spirit. You have angels out in the field, as above, so below, praying for you. Your ancestors praying for you, watching over you, as above, so below. Powerful angels coming down from God's request to come and protect you. Archangel Michael, the one that loves and protects my collective, is coming down to show you the way. Yes, collective, you have been through a lot this past year. You have suffered, you have 
persevered, you have endured, you have embraced, or you should start embracing this journey with grace, with gratitude. Again, being kind and gentle to yourself. You're fragile, you're sensitive. Mm -hmm. More sensitive than ever because you are ascending. No matter what you look like, but you have earned that ascension. You have earned those wings. My collective, because you have been a wounded warrior my gosh the things that we all have been through individually how you have conquered how you have survived speaks a lot for yourself so be proud again of how far you came and how far you're going to go. How beautiful you are, no matter what race, no matter what you look like. Okay, you're here to connect with yourself, love yourself, work on yourself. Angels are coming down again to heal the wounded, to heal the sick, to heal the loss, to heal the ones that are damaged, to wound again their broken hearts, their soul, their spirits. So be kind to yourself, gentle to yourself each and every day. Have you ever been touched by an angel? When you start to notice things, maybe you haven't noticed things from before, but when you're on your spiritual journey, the paranormal touches you will feel out of nowhere. The voices that will whisper in your ears or you will feel within your soul speaking to you. They're around. And they're watching and guiding you. Call out to them to help you. Call out to them to protect you. Call out to them to embrace you. To encourage you. Your guardian angel is right there by your side. <clears throat> Here to be your guide. They want to embrace and hug you. Again, put a blanket of protection over you. The higher realms know what you've been through, what you've gone through, and they know what's going to occur moving forward. So open your heart, collective. Don't close it off. No matter what's been done to you, no matter what you have done yourself, forgive yourself and open your heart so they can embrace you, so they can help cleanse you. Okay, you may be down and out at this time. This is a new year. Everybody's situation and circumstances are different. But just know that they're here to hug you tight and protect you by any means necessary to guide you, to comfort you, to heal your soul. What is that scripture? Weeping may door for a night, but joy comes in the morning. They're watching. They're seeing how strong you are in this world. And they're coming down. If you're looking 
into yourself and opening up your heart to bless you with love on a 3D. Love within yourself and bless you with loved ones, with your tribe. That is meant for you and that is meant to be. They bring it down your warrior, your divine friendships and connections and partnerships. And you will have a whole army mm, right behind you, right beside you. This looks so powerful. See the armor on them and the light that they bring. It is powerful. Nothing to mess with. That is how special and important each and every one that taps onto my channel to listen to this message is. Your life is worth living. Never think you're not meant to be here. That you're not worthy, that you're not enough. You're meant to be here. So don't give up. Don't give up, collective. You have a whole team here to back you up. So let's go back into the realms, into space, floating back into other dimensions. The peace that brings all understanding is how you would feel once you're floating in space in the galaxy. Imagining and appreciating God's creation, his beauty. Realizing that you are us also a part of space. You're a part of the galaxy. You are one of those stars in the sky. You are a part of that moon that shines so bright at night to be the night light within the night time. You are a part of that sun that burns so bright and shines to warm the earth and your heart. Once you find that love within yourself, other angels will come down or God will send you a divine being, the right divine soulmate if you're looking for love, you want love. Right now, he's shaping and molding the perfect person for you to come here and to also protect, but as well as to love you, to treat you as the gift God created you to be that you are full of light, full of love. He's shaping and molding that person, female or male, to come down and grace you with love. The Cupid angels or the chariot angels, you will hear singing. You will hear an orchestra. Have you heard the heavens sing to you? It's beautiful. It's like a symphony that you never heard or haven't heard before, ever. It doesn't compare to what you listen on the radio of a symphony until you hear the angels sing, until you hear the heaven orchestra ringing 
the singing that they and the praise and worship that they bring is like heaven to your ears. It's beautiful. And again, it's like no other. And that's how your connections and your partnerships and relationships will be. It will be like no other. Everything will be in sync. Where are you supposed to be? Where you need to go? Where you want to go, desire to go, is where you belong. The right connections you will come in contact with, you will just know from your soul, from your intuition, from your spirit, you will just know that you belong. We belong. Yes, things will just flow. Once we go with the flow, not fight with the changes that occur, things that has to end, we just go with the flow. What is meant to, to leave will go or will let go. What is meant to keep will stay and it'll be meant confirmation will be meant to stay. What is meant for you collective won't leave your side. It will find you. It will be right beside you. It will guide you. It will hold you. It will embrace you. You'll feel it in your spirit, mind, body, soul. When you feel an uncertain, the right person, place, and things that is meant for us to have as a collective will come so easy. There's no fight. It's just flow. There's no strife. It will just come to you. It's attracted to you. When you're glowing and shining your light, you see that light above, that angel's head and the light within her womb all the way down to her feet. Her chakras are aligned and she has a glow within her, within her that is shining so bright. Mm Mm-hmm. The healing that this individual or that you are going through, collective, that I'm going through, it will give you a glow because we've let go of patterns, mindsets, just unnecessary things that is weighing us down. Don't you want to feel light again? You will feel lighter as this angel you see here. Angels are coming down. Your significant other is coming down with thunder and lightning and fire behind them to protect their loved ones, to protect the chosen ones, to protect God's children, to protect their angels, light workers, shamans, healers, holistic healers, light workers, children of God, ones that are of pure heart, doing things from your heart, being of service. They're coming down to protect and to help and to guide again and to love. To love you. That fight 
that fighting spirit that you have in you and you keep moving forward and never giving up no matter what's going on around you. Only you can control what's going on within you. How you responding and reflecting and receiving what the world throws at us. What the world throws at you matters and counts the most. You can tell when you're changing. Chaos could be happening around you. Of course, there's a battle up in heaven. They're fighting for you to move forward from the enemies that surrounds them up above as, as well as down below that surrounds the collective that surrounds me. They're fighting a war and battle each and every day for us to continue to live on, for us to fulfill whatever purpose that is here on this earth that gives you life. Other energies and entities that are surrounding around you only you can control how you respond to those energies, situations. We'll reflect on the outcome. We'll reflect on your forward movement. Trust me, it's a battle. Each and every day, they're battling for your soul. Not just your meat suit. They're battling for that soul because our soul lives on and those warrior angels imagine yourself being this warrior angel fighting for your life fighting for your soul each and every day we're fighting for a purpose we're fighting to fulfill what makes our heart sings and again our purpose our the joy that life brings what God wants us to fill. We're fighting a war. And angels are coming down, I'm telling you, to make sure you continue moving forward and to protect you. Maybe this is you, collective, being this rising phoenix from the ashes. Wow. You're powerful. Look at those wings. Even the fire is not stopping this angel. She's turning that fire into passion and she's moving forward. It is her mission to continue moving forward. And that's powerful. The armor you have on you, the armor that God puts on all of us to keep moving forward on this earth it's powerful no matter what comes at you that tries to penetrate your energy mm. powerful angels is coming down to guide and protect you imagine yourself being this way you have earned your wings you have earned that armor of, of being a good servant, being of good service. That's beautiful. You are a warrior that survive, that is a victory within itself. And Archangel Michael is watching. He's right by your side when you're going through the pits, <laughs> when you're going through it. He'll be that guide and light. Have you ever seen Archangel light shine around you, beside you? He's there. Call on him. 
call on his assistance and his help and his prayers and his protection and love. He's there. His light is beautiful. When he comes down to let you know he's here to protect you. Protect you from war. Protect you regarding love. You see that Cupid angel there? Mm -hmm. Protect you in all areas of your life. You have the keys, collective. You will earn the keys. No one can take it away from you unless you give the keys away. No matter what they say, hand me the gate keys. No. The keys are within your soul. It's within you. Only God himself can take away the keys. So don't give it away. You continue to be the main factor and key in your life. Working on yourself. Bettering yourself. Perfecting yourself. Angels again. That loved one. That significant other. Is watching. Possibly connecting with you in the 5D realm, watching over you. Mm -hmm. Warrior angels of all identity and of all diversity protecting you. Beautiful angels guarding you. Now, they may appear nice to you, but trust me, <laughs> to the enemies, it don't look as beautiful as this, because they're warrior angels. They will definitely put on for your enemies, but you continue, Collective, to be that warrior yourself, to earn your wings if you have it. You will know. Pray and seek, but you will know when you earn your wings or when you just have ascended. Things won't bother you as much. You be, you'll feel more at peace in a mess of chaos. The way you move, the way you think, the things that you do will just be different. You won't get phased by too much like you used to. Your attitude and moods will change. You will have a higher perspective of why things are occurring in your life and the reason why. The lessons to learn. You are this beautiful angel collective that will earn your armor, your stripes, your wings, insight, ascensions, beautiful soul and energy that you bring or that you're continuously healing to bring to the world, you will have a glow within as in without that will shine so bright. Others will have to move out your way or bow, bow down to you. Say, I surrender. <laughs> Forgive me. I'm sorry. But it's going to be too late for them. But still have compassion. Still have mercy. But just give it to the heavens. Give it to God. To earn your crown. 
in God's eyes. He's crowning you in heaven, crowning you to be with your divine family, your tribe, also in marriage with your kingdom spouse. Mm -hmm. So continue collective to rise above, go with the flow, looking at things with a higher perspective. It's easy said and done, but continue to forgive our enemies. They are our stepping stool. Hit them with kindness and compassion. And God will have mercy upon their souls. You give it to God. Until next time, this is Rastagal, a.k.a. Angelic Empress. Take care and peace. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share my message. Stay blessed, collective, and take care.